Hello, welcome to day 39 in this Creating an PHP Web Framework series and let's continue with the task. So we're going to add a PHP CSS parsing feature. So I had a link added to here which was awesome. I'm going to open that up. And this will allow us to create a PHP file, write CSS in there, write PHP conditions, and it will be passed as CSS. So it says instead of using the CSS file extension, we use the PHP file extension, like so. At the top of your new style.php file, set the content type back to blah, 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 blah. So. So yeah, we were just looking at it. And WordPress, we don't really concern ourselves with that. Compress the CSS with PHP. Let's have a quick look at this as well. I think for now let's just stick with this so what we want is yep this line of code in of your new style dot PHP file set the content type back to CSF so okay we're thinking about how to actually do this as a feature Obviously, this at the moment, if you have to do this for every single file, it's not much of a feature. But then again, it's only the one line. It could just be there as an example, so you know what to do. That's what I'm going to do with it for now. And also, because we're going to have a class system that will provide extra methods, therefore, it makes sense. Okie dokie. So, what we're going to do for now is in our public CSF in here, we're going to create a new file. It's going to be called test style.php. In here, paste the code that we got off that website. And it's going to format it the way I like it. And now, just add some basic styling, so I'll just put body, background, dash, color, in red. Add important to it, and okie dokie. So, now to include this, we would go to call files to include and for this we would just do comma array and this is going to be test style actually no we need a whole number one so we need copy and paste this custom ph custom css custom php files passed as css stored locally in blah blah blah, blah. must be in the form of do, do, do not add the PHP file extension as it will be added automatically and now this is going to be called PHP underscore CSS and this is going to be test style now if we go to the header snippet so elements header.php okie dokie Okay, so what are we doing? What are we doing? For each one, 
each internal file. Okay, copy and paste this for each PHP internal file. Debug, all of that can remain the same. The only thing that changes is this. This changes to PHP, and that's it. We should now just be able to run it. It's red. Expect element, make sure there's no errors or anything. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I'm actually gonna have a look at the clone the sources, CSS. Okay, so I'm going to try and in here. If let's say obviously this hasn't appeared, which is good. If I were to put let's say PHP in here and I put if how could I do this? Let me think about it a second. If okay, we'll just put if one is equal to five, for example, then dollar I'm gonna put here dollar var equals red else dollar var equals black and now just echo this out and this is going to be dollar var so this should still remain red now if i change this to a five because five does equal five we should get black boom yeah that's working the way i wanted it to work that's good that's good so I'll change this back to one so we can actually see it a little easier and okay the next step is for easily loading font so we want a class for being able to access this stuff so what i'm just trying to think is obviously all these other classes are usable within another class and usable if you're in let's say a view we're not inside of view here so at this headed up php at this like moment what has occurred so it's initialized it it should be able to get stuff from the database all of that should be all good so really if for example i use i'm going to use a pre-existing one so if i do Okay, so if the user's logged in, for example, and the checking for the login code is copy and paste it from a pre existing view, so home index, so this right here echo user data, username. Okay, so if we copy this into the test style, so what I'm hoping is what we have now we check in the user so we're going to take this and put it here if the user is logged in then it's going to be black yeah cut I'll cut that and then i'll copy that so when i try to paste it it's paste the same thing now can't even remember if I'm logged in or not. Not logged in. And I wonder if this has actually caused an error. Let's have a look. So if I go to PHP, public, CSS, test style, stack trace thrown in line seven, which is this one. There's something about this it does not like. So, hmm. 
Let me open the index.php file for what happens. Ignoring all of that stuff. Show elements. So we have the header.php. Then we have the init method. What does that init method do again? Does, uh, I hope it doesn't do what I think it does. It does, it goes over every single class. What would happen if I were to I think this will mess up the order if I put this like so yeah that's, that's not right but in the uh, headed up PHP file let's have a look again so we're doing in here call in it But we're not actually initializing anything. Yet. Then they spine through all of this. Require ones, config. I'll look at that error again. Uncaught error class not found. Okay, yeah, it's apparently this class can't be located. So let me just try something quickly. If I were to do require underscore once, and if I were to put in here, if, I, if I'm going back. Because this, so I guess it's in the index.php. So you're going back here, you're going into classes, and then you're going to user.php. Where is this trying to get it from? PHP public. No, it's not there. I'm trying to go back. Try one more thing. If I do dot dot, dot forward slash refresh, yeah. am I logged in? I'm not logged in, so it's red. So if I were to log in, I know it's sort of hard for me to see. I can't remember. I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Still pumping up as red, even though we should be in here because we're logged in now. So if user is logged in, clearly this isn't properly initializing.
let's try this. So if I were to grab this code from here, save that, put it into the index.php file, so just after I've initialized everything, as, Let me see what happens if I run this. Do I get any errors in here? I think so. No, I don't. Clearly, it's getting the file. Because if I were to do this, for example, this won't get the style. We got some warning. Um, resource interpreted, but not trying to blah, 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 fine. Even though this is after this has been initialized, in there the you getting the user doesn't seem to like that. So it was in the test file again. Is logged in. What happens if I do print underscore r dollar user for example? So I'm see the status of what user is. Yeah, it's broken it. That's, that's not a problem. I just want to see what's what. What I'm going to do is in the in the home page, so index.php here, I'm going to whack this to see essentially what it should be like. And this is the password, blah, 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 the contact. So this is what it more should be like, and this is what it is actually like. Let me go to the to the app. See, is there anything that we're doing in here that might be might not be done by time? But by the time that CSS file is hit, so pass the URL. No, is this require including anything regarding? Just can't see anything. Let me have a look. See if there's anything like sort of similar to what we've done in here. See what that project is. It's always interesting to see what other people are doing. Seeing some examples of this template. No. PHP passed 
as CSS with login check. What's he going to look? Okay, so they're using it for variables. That's cool. Very cool. So it's still useful from that point of view. I'm going to do is just simplify it slightly so instead of doing all of this so I'm done changing here in here so remove that in test style or chain in second that's fine header that's fine and in index.php just that so in test style you now remove this essentially actually so yeah that doesn't work either that'll give, that'll give me a buggy bug 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 so assume we need to do the manual include for now So instead of use that, we're going to have PHP CSS pass CSS tool agent CSS, or we could just call it CSS.php CSS agent. I'll call it CSS for now. So CSS. What I'm going to do is create a new file called css.php. I'll just copy something from like here. Let's get the overall structure of it. So in In here, work is here. So I'm going to get rid of all of this. And I'm going to get rid of every method except for constructor. And I'm going to get rid of every variable for now. CSS. And I'm gonna get rid of this as well. So in here, what we're gonna do is play return of, and what it's gonna return is a string. String is going to be this. I'm hoping that this works. Change a single quotation mark. So if we were to construct it, so this was CSS. If we were to do, we put this first. We don't need that. And if we do dollar CSS. Agent, I'm going to call it CSS agent. 
equal new sonar backslash CSS like so and if I get rid of this let's just check if I can do the five equals five stuff again let's have a look nope so let's see where, where we've gone wrong Only the background color is black, but we got a warning. Resource interpreted as style, style sheet, but transferred with mime type. I think I might need to actually echo this out. Yeah, I need to echo this out. instead let's try this if keep that as it is I mean I'll remove that and I'll put public function test and what we're gonna do is return this should have copied that entire line that would have saved me time and now in here, we're going to do echo dollar CSS agent test, I believe it was called. So we're able to get that now. So let's do it like this instead. Okay, let me try something else. Let me try putting this here over here, like so. See how that works out. Oh, namespace. Clearly know what we want. Okay, I'm gonna try if I get rid of this. So let's just say for now I go in here, I put it in here like it was originally. We'll do the require the agent test. So let's just see if this prints. It's not printing out as black anymore, is it? Is the our test method? I thought that's what I called it. Oh, I've removed it. So in test style, remove the test method. And if I were to put one, it should print out 
Oh, red. Okay, that's good. It's good. Let's check in the time. Okay, so far, so good. So far, so good. It's looking decent. And yeah, okay, I'm gonna end it now. What we're gonna work on next video, so day 40, is in the CSS.php file, actually having useful methods. The first one that I'm gonna start off with is essentially just the font one, and then we can build it on from there. If you have any ideas, if I have any ideas, as we start creating websites, all of these you know, different features that we think will be good encapsulated in this css.php file will become more and more apparent so not much here to commit it's still rudimentary so i'm going to leave this as it is so thank you for watching i will see you in the next day and if feel free to check out the github page for add any suggestion tinker around with the code all that good stuff and well just message us if you have any questions thanks for watching and i'll see you soon